Lawmakers are advancing a bill that would delay a new bill taxing electric vehicles. And they're delaying it because the state just can't figure out how to collect it. So 11 Alive's Doug Richards joining us live in Ponzi Highland tonight with more. Yes, so in a state where there are more and more electric cars, it turns out that these charging stations, these free ones, are also becoming much more prevalent. And in a state where there are ambitions to tax the juice coming out of these free electric charging stations, uh, critics say they have kind of a fatal flaw. Some charging stations charge money for electricity, but others, like the ones behind Manuel's Tavern in Atlanta, give away the juice to customers who are electric vehicle drivers like Tiffany Potter. I've been to some fast charge stations where you have to pay, but you know, it's nice to go into a restaurant and get a drink while your car's charging out front, whatever. The state uses its gas tax to pay for construction and maintenance of roads and bridges. Because electric vehicles don't use gas, they don't pay the motor fuel tax. A state law passed last year was originally written to make Georgia's electric vehicle tax the highest of the states that tax them. Lawmakers lowered the tax a bit and passed it, but then left it to the State Department of Agriculture to figure out how to measure the electricity used at charging stations that are now free. To my knowledge, no other states have figured this out. Jeanette Geyer says it's impractical to add a cost-effective measurement system to free chargers. In a lot of cases, I think it'd probably be cheaper to rip the charger out than it would be to retrofit. Georgia lawmakers are advancing a bill that would delay for a year the law to require collection of the electric vehicle equivalent of a gas tax. The bill doesn't touch home chargers, which would remain free, but leaves a vexing question surrounding the state's thousands of free chargers. Worst case scenario is, yeah, we have to rip out and shut down thousands of chargers around the states that are right now helping to make electric vehicles tenable. So the bill that is surging through the state legislature now uh, would create a grace period, one that goes to the end of 2025 before the state would start taxing the juice coming out of electric chargers. By then, they hope they'll figure out a way to actually do it. We are live in Northeast Atlanta tonight. Back to you. All right, Doug, thank you so much.